Hi everyone, welcome to another video for Philips Take On DDS CAD. DDS CAD is not only capable of modeling solar system, but with PolySun inside integrated to DDS CAD, you can also calculate it. Before viewing the video, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell to be notified of new videos. Enjoy! To start from scratch, I'll insert PV panels in its roof surface. To do so, I will access the PV Solar Panel Product Database and from the category Fast Planning, I will select the solar panel of 1310 per 990. The product database uh, are parametric, so I could influence and change the size of this PV panel if required. So I'll select this one and this PV panel will be inserted on roof without an offset and the angle will be uh, inserted automatically from the roof surface, as we can see here. But I will insert as a group, so I will right mouse click and select the option Place a Matic on the Surface, and I will select this surface. As you can see, DDS CAD has inserted the maximum uh, PV panels for this area. First, I would like to make an addition to avoid the clash with this pipe. So, I will click on this option of manual free placement and I will decrease from 14 to 11 columns. But as you can see, it has removed from the left to the right. So, to adjust this group now, I will come back to objects from distance and I will insert some offset in the X direction and in the right direction as well. For the X direction, I will insert 3.2 meters. Now it has avoided the clash, but I would like to minimize the number of PV panels uh, as well. So I will insert 0.8 in the Y parameter and 33 uh, PV panels is good for this calculation. So I'll click OK and escape to close the function. So we have now a group of 33 uh, PV panels. To proceed with the calculation, DDS CAD has an add-on from Velo Solaris, which is PolySun inside. I will double-click in this group of PV panels to map them. In the PolySun inside interface, we see that uh, it has identified the project location as Bern in Switzerland, which I have previously defined in DDS CAD. Furthermore, we can get into the option Horizon and Sun Path and from this location, DDS CAD can automatically get the horizon line from the MeteoNorm server by clicking here. With this horizon line, PolySun Insight considers the possible horizon shading in its yield simulation. Next, I will select the, the PV module manufacturer. In the manufacturer drop-down list, I will type YIN and I get the English Green Energy Holding CO LTD. From this manufacturer, we can check uh, which are the modules available. In this case, I will select this YL210P23B. Having set this information, now I will search for a suitable inverter by clicking on Find Suitable Inverter option. These filters will help you to find a suitable inverter. In this case, in the manufacturer field, I will type SMA for Isma Solar Technology AG. Important here as well is that I will set the maximum number of layouts as 10 and the maximum number of sublayouts as 2 and I'll click Calculate Layouts. Here we see a list of layouts that we have found. I will click on its first entry and DDS CAD has calculated the ACDC values. By clicking on the plus sign, here you see the technical specifications of the ISMA inverter. Else, we see the exact amount of modules per string and tracker. If we click on a tracker, 
we can see that all calculated values are not exceeding its limits, making this a suitable PV inverter combination. These results can be generated as a report. Besides a report that I will not show in this video, in a schematic model, which starts at 900, we can generate an automatic block diagram of the PV schema. As a result, with one click, we see the schema which shows information like the inverted used, the number of modules per string, the number of strings per tracker, and etc. If you like this video, share it. If you have any questions or suggestions, put your comment below and we'll get back to you. Cheers!